Welcome back to Space Engineers, folks. Before we head off, there is an unknown signal here, so we might as well just check that, grab everything. And where is the button? The button is there. What do we get? A wood drill. Okay. And now, we are heading back to the moon. So... Let's see... We need to... Unlock that, unlock that... We need to turn that off... Stockpile... We need to... Turn these on, and off we go. Let's head into space. We are off. Dampeners are off. There's our base. There's a lot of holes around it. Uh, Jesus. Look at that landscape. Alright, well, let's go. Let's get out of here. Power for 29 years. Doesn't feel like we're going up at all. But we are. Get up there. We don't see any enemies around. You can see the curvature of Mars now. So we are getting up there. Passing through the cloud ceiling. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Love it. Landing. 
way, so let's go forward a bit. going back to the moon for is to basically to drop off a lot of stuff a lot of materials so we can start perhaps building bring my miner, I left it on Mars and I did that on purpose. We're leaving the miner behind on purpose because it's now a Mars miner. We'll build a new one. What we're going to do moving forward is we're going to build a colossal spaceship that is purely for in space. We're going to equip that ship with a dropship and a miner. thinking that the dropship needs to be a hybrid so that it can both drive and fly and that's the idea anyway we still have planetary gravity not that much though space now, or out, out of planetary gravity and into space. Two There's really no point in stopping at asteroids to check if they have uranium or something else because we don't have a miner. We do not have a miner. Come on. Get out of this gravity. Zero point zero five. 
to jump. So. jumped out of the gravity field because it just took too long so I just jumped straight away from Mars uh, like uh, 65 kilometers or something and now we are going to jump 1903 kilometers to our first moon landing spot Uh, 
ship. Uh, kind of a mothership. Which will have a lot of cargo space, but no refining. It will have assemblers, but not refineries. And it'll have quite a few drop, jump drives, so that we can jump a lot. It'll have, uh, of course, some living quarters, stuff like that. And it'll have a reasonably large hangar that will allow us to have two ships inside it. Uh, a drop ship and a miner. And the miner is specifically for uh, space mining. So asteroid mining. And our drop ship may or may not incorporate, incorporate uh, a miner as well, which will be a miner for atmospheric mining. But of course, it will need some... It will actually need to be a, a hydrogen miner, because we want to be able to mine on moons and stuff as well. Or maybe it can be swappable so that, yeah. So that if we go down to a moon with no atmosphere, then we can take our space miner, our asteroid miner, and if we're going down to planet, then we can take our other miner, our atmospheric miner, I think. I, I like that idea. Let's see if we can jump up 57% charged. So what I'll do is I'll tell it jump, drive, we want to go Five percent or something, which is not five kilometers. We'll see when it's fully charged. The home base is that on Mars or uh, on the moon? Let's see, I don't think it is. I think it's on Earth. on Earth. Oh, we're not going there right now. So, base, don't show. We don't want to show Mars eyes. We don't want to show these. Actually, this one can be deleted. We'll keep this one for now, but not show it. Platinum. I'll actually rename that uh, Platinum uh, Mars Base and Platinum. And don't show that on the HUD either. Can we now? No, oh, 83.9% charged. Well, we're getting there at least. It'll be interesting to see how the moon base is doing. Can open up our helmet. No point in having that on. Also, a much nicer sound. Eh, maybe not. There's the moon, or Earth, sorry. There's 
our seat. Uh, oh, there it is. We're going to see over from this side. A few asteroids. are tracking. Dangerous. Good. Uh, 119. No. Uh, control panel. Jump. Wonderful. Make this entrance a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Maybe we can't get in here. We used to be able to. base. there. That wasn't too bad, actually. All right, we need to come around a bit. Oh. 
Yeah, we need to, to make the entrance here a little bit bigger. Let's see where we are. We need to turn a bit more. camera here, do I? I do. Why don't I have that on my controls? As I remember, it's not easy to hook up to this. Let's see. We're there. I need to come over a little bit. Other than that, we're there. Oh, our hydrogen tank is blowing up. Yeah. to something else? No. We can't hook up to that thing. Or that thing, I'm pretty sure. How we might actually be able to hook up to that thing. Get down here. Um, why won't you? You're ready to lock. You're not. Alright, let's just lock this for now. Some repairs that need to be done. I am thinking that we might be out of power in the base, and that's why. Certainly left this door open, which was stupid. Oh, there's no power. There is no power. Okay. Uranium here. Uh, oh, is that broken? It is. That's broken too. Damn it. I don't have 
anything in here, man. Right, well, this is a problem for another day because we are out of time. But we do need to solve this problem that we have. And we don't have power. That is kind of a big problem. we could ask our assembler to make us a battery parts for a battery but we can't even do that because we don't have dang what the heck do we do man I'm not sure I am not sure You're not broken, you're not broken. You should be able to attach, but... Alright. So, uh, we have a bit of a conundrum. A bit of a conundrum. I suppose what I... I can't get the things out. I need to make... Uh... Do we have stuff in here? No. And I can't get out of here. No, I can't. No, I can't. Open! Uh, okay, battery. Zero percent. So we need the bits and bobs to make a battery. And we can't get the bits and bobs to make a battery out of our other ship. Because it's broken. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll have to figure this out uh, in the next one, guys, because uh, we are out of time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.